Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do August readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind that these are general readings, take what applies, if it applies, you know to do it the best. And a big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock. And if you're interested in having a personal reading with me, all the info is in the description box below. This reading is going to be for Cancer. So let's see what's uh, popping with you in August 2022. Cancer. Highest message to the highest good. Whoop, something flipped in my hand. Hmm. We have the Four of Cups here, the Daydreaming Fantasizing card, Cancer. Now keep in mind, this could be about friendship, partnership, love, career, family, how it applies, any one of those ships. Could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you. Hmm. You could be daydreaming about all the heavy burdens, responsibilities on your cancer. Or maybe the person that you uh, could be dealing with. This could be their energy. Hmm. The Four of Cups could be also something that comes out of the blue, something unexpected. Hmm. You get the two of rods in the reverse. In the upright, that's coming to a crossroad. In the reverse, it's knowing you're going to go left or you're going to go right. When you get to that fork in the road, you know, you know exactly what you're going to do there, Cancer. Hmm. And now we have the seven of rods in the reverse. And in the upright, this is somebody who stands up for themselves, they feel like they're on ho uh, higher ground, they can back up what they say. It's also about keeping something out to Cancer, out of your, you know, mind space, bubble space, you know, out of your biz. In the reverse, this is putting down your defenses. You know, maybe not being so guarded or defensive. Interesting. Hmm. I've got the three of pentacles in the reverse. And a second one went, mm, wanted to come out. Yet, aka the spy card. That could be somebody checking out your social media, you, them, them, you. Bottom of the deck. Somebody's not emotionally leaving a situation. Hmm. Interesting. So, Cancer, the daydreaming fantasizing card. This could be something that you want to happen, you wish would happen. You have to go through a state of, you know, dream in order to, you know, make a plan or you know, devise a plan. But daydreaming, I think, is as far as something goes, Cancer, because you get these heavy, heavy burdens, you, them, them, you, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. But the ten of rods is about this guy taking a couple more steps and releasing those burdens. Not being weighed down, thus starting back at zero. Cancer, that could be what you're thinking about is getting rid of all these things that, you know, weigh you down, responsibilities. And you know where you want something to go. There's no, you know, doubt about that. Cancer, either you know how you want a situation to go, or you know how it's going to go. Interesting. Interesting. And somebody lets their guard down. Somebody, you know, just lets something happen, I believe. You know, they're not prickly around the edges, I want to say. They're not, you know, being defensive, whatever. They're like, go. Do what you got to do. 
Hmm. I kind of feel like, you know, for no rhyme or reason. There's no argument. There's no fight. There's, um... Somebody doesn't have to stand up for themselves. Hmm. Because somebody here has not been recognized, Cancer. The Three of Pentacles in the upright is being recognized for your skills, your qualities, your crafts, being recognized for that great person that you are. This guy puts a shine on that one particular pentacle, making it more special than the other two. But in the reverse, this is like being another face in the crowd. You know, not getting that recognition that maybe somebody deserves. Can't say it also could be, you know, somebody's not getting your attention. You, them, them, you. And I think that's why the Page of Swords came out, because the spy card could be, you know, somebody checking out your social media. Again, you, them, them, you. You know, wondering where you at. It could be a friend of a friend saying, hey, you know, you seen cancer around? Because somebody's not ready to emotionally walk away. Either they won't, they can't. You get the four of cups going to the eight, where somebody's daydreaming, fantasizing, you know, how they want things to be. But cancer, I can't help but think that, you know, something's just like, do what you gotta do. Almost like, you know, I'm not stopping you. I think somebody thinks of being fair, Cancer. You know, thinking that maybe this is what the other person wants. Now, again, this could be, you know, in partnership or friendship. You know, even a family member. But because somebody didn't defend themselves or stand up or speak their mind, I want to say. But they let something just roll on by. Cancer, like, you know, like it doesn't bother them or bother you. And you're thinking you're just going to, you know, keep the peace. But then something does roll on by. Something does go, you know, down a different path. Because somebody didn't get the attention that they needed or wanted. And again, Cancer, this could be you or someone else you're dealing with. It's not that they don't care. Because they're still looking. They want to know, you know, where you at, what you're doing. Or this could be you. Because there's still emotional attachment there. Just because somebody didn't, you know, put up a ruckus or a fight or defend themselves. I'm kind of thinking, Cancer, maybe they thought that maybe that's what you wanted or you thought that's what they wanted. But somebody here is still attached. You know, maybe instead of, you know, defending themselves or their actions or whatever, they just let something be nonchalant and it definitely went a different way. Hmm. So let's find out what the Ten of Rods is Heavy burden, this weight of the world on your shoulders here, Cancer. Hmm. Could be about money. The four leaf clover is about luck and fortune. You get the lilies, which is a matured man. Hmm. Ten of rods. The weight of the world. A bond. Yep. So, somebody here, Cancer, you know, feels heavily burdened by a friendship, a partnership, or some sort. You know, like they feel like maybe they're doing more than the other person. Maybe they take on the responsibilities, you know, more than so than the other person. And that feels like a heavy, you know, burden. You know, this person's not carrying just their 
you know, responsibilities. And maybe somebody else's too. Now, somebody knows where something's going. Or where they're going. Two of rods reversed. Travel. Storks, again, a uh, um, travel card. So, Cancer, somebody here knows that maybe they have to travel or work. Or they're taking a vacation, a sabbatical. But the storks, being that migrating air animal, you only find them one or two places. You know, like for instance, I live in New Hampshire, and say in the summertime you, you see storks in New Hampshire, but then wintertime they're in Florida. But you'll never see them anywhere else, either New Hampshire or Florida. That's just an example. Again, it's about travel, but somebody at goes back and forth. And maybe that's the burden. Or one of the burdens, Cancer, that somebody could be doing all the traveling. And it's making things, you know, harder to do. Daydreaming fantasizing card. This could be somebody thinking about how to fix this problem. You know, maybe someone lives at a distance, cancer that you know you're friends with or involved with, and if one person is doing all the traveling, yeah, it's going to be a burden. Now, what's with the defenses down? What's with the defenses? Oh, get the Empress. Now, the Empress usually means. Pregnancy, but you know, she's admired for her kindness, but never take it as a weakness, Cancer. I mean, she'll definitely show you what's up. So, somebody's trying to go with the flow and not trying to be petty, I think. Six or seven of odds in reverse. Hmm, a calendar. Or marking the days, or keeping score. Hmm. Defenses, defenses down. Wise counsel. So, Cancer, this could be you or what you're dealing with or who you're dealing with, you know, getting advice and maybe legalizing something or putting something into writing. It could be a contract, an agreement. Interesting. But somebody's gotten some good advice. And with this being the Empress, you know, maybe this person is the head of the household. You know what I mean? Maybe this is the decision maker. This maybe this is the one that has all the burdens, you know, all the bills and responsibilities. I'm kind of thinking that, you know, something is thought of, and then someone's like, well, I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to do it anymore, I'm going to get something in writing, so somebody can be sure of something. Hmm. Let's find out what the three of pentacles in reverse is, and the spy card. There could be no compromise on a situation here, Cancer, where now maybe somebody does, does get maybe legal counsel to find out where they stand. And at this point, I think it's just, you know, seeking advice where somebody stands with someone. Because they haven't left yet. Or left the situation. Three of Pentacles and the Spine. Uh-huh. So... You get the sun card, which is very positive. Very positive. But then you have the broom. Somebody sweeping something under the rug. Something positive, maybe not noticed. 
or taken for granted. That's why it's, hmm, it's a naive boy. <laughs> now, when I said taken for granted, that kind of set a bell off in my head there, Cancer, that, you know, if someone feels like they're just another face in the crowd and they are doing all the traveling and they are taking all the responsibilities and they are, you know, making all the effort. And they're not, you know, feeling like it's re reciprocated. Another face in the crowd. I'm sure somebody's wondering why. Why they can't get the attention from someone. Because somebody's still in it. They just need more cancer. Whether that's you or them. I think they need somebody's you know, time and attention. Because somebody's making an effort here. And somebody's maybe taking it for granted. Who's not walking away? Who's still emotionally in it? <laughs> Who's emotionally in it, Cancer? It's the one that does the traveling. And then gets blocked. So somebody here is not feeling like they mean some, something to someone. They're facing the crowd. So cancer, don't be complacent. Don't just let something ride. You know, think about it, but put no action behind it. If this is you feeling this way, stand up. Stand up and say something. Express how you feel. Let somebody know exactly how you feel. Don't just be like, ah, well, you know, maybe they'll figure it out on their own. Because they won't. Cancer, they won't. And instead of wondering how someone feels, it's a lot better to know. Hmm. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.